YouTube, what up and welcome back to the channel. My name is Antonio Wang and if this is your first time here, I welcome you as I talk about my personal style, give you a few tips here and there, but overall I just want to have fun with it. Now I'm over summer, the heat, the sweat, the simple outfits, all of it, I'm done and I'm already counting down the days until the official first day of fall, which will be on September 22nd. So like I said, mark of the days, the minutes, the hours, the seconds, all the, the, the whole thing, I'm over it. I'm already prepped for fall winter. You know, I'm going to bring out all my big outerwear pieces back onto the coat rack if you guys haven't noticed and as well as show you a few new additions to my outerwear collection so check this out alrighty so you guys are wondering what is in this bag what I'm gonna be showcasing to you is straight fire be very careful this is hot content none other than the brand Hatta. They are a brand that was started in Amsterdam in about 2005 that focuses more so on like uh, the streetwear, uh, the streetwear like sneaker scene. What I saw, I think it was about two weeks ago, was this black oversized cardigan and it was just phenomenal. There's four graphics. There's going to be one with the name of the brand on the front, it says Pata, and then it's black roses. So. You have black on the right arm, right here on the sleeve. And then on the left sleeve, you have roses. So the back says, to keep and care it, you got to water it. That just spoke to me. Let's just say, uh, whether it be a relationship of any kind, romantic, business, or a personal relationship. If you'd like to keep that relationship, you have to put in the work by watering it. Because if you just leave it there, you know, you don't reach out to a friend or, you know, you don't tell your loved one that you love them you know, every now and then. It's just like those little seeds that you planted, you have to be sure to water them. So anyway, I don't want to get too preachy. That's just what it meant to me. I love the overall shape, the weight, the graphics. And another thing that I did love as well was the price. So I think I only paid about less than $200, like sub, sub 170s, sub 180s, something like that. All right, so the next piece that I want to present to you guys is yet another varsity jacket. Huge advocate for varsity jackets just because it makes me feel like I was an important person in high school or in the past, you know? Since 83, right? No, I was born in 93, but this is pretty close. Not that close, but it's close enough. But anyway, uh, I really love this piece just because it has the perfect shade of blue. Uh, the right amount of wool and 100% full grain calfskin leather. This thing is smooth as butter. Uh, the condition is absolutely pristine. Uh, considering how old this jacket is and the nice little patina that we have around the ribbed collar is just, is beautiful. That nice little cream color just to let them know that this is true vintage. And the fact that it's some guy's jacket named uh, David David Porter. I don't know if you guys are picking this up, but shout out to you, David. Appreciate you for uh, not wearing the hell out of this jacket and um, putting it in my rotation. Yo, listen up. Here's a story about a little guy that lives in a blue world. And all day and all night and everything he sees
for those of you guys that have been, you know, that do follow me on Instagram, you've seen me tease this jacket. Oh my God. So this was crazy. This is a Raph Simmons times Templa vest. Still has the tag. I don't really want to take it out. You know, it just, it's, it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. This little stretchy, little elastic band here. I don't want to cut that. I just, I just tuck it in right there. Sometimes you just got to tuck if it's too big, right? The tag. The tag, come on now. Here we have a great freaking design. You know, you have this stitched on um, from what seems like a, I, I don't even know what kind of material this is to be quite honest with you. A nylon, I would say some sort of nylon, um, you know, with uh, some graphics. It says burning down the house, harder, deeper, and dirtier. And you have an established 1995 Raf Simmons from Antwerp. So apparently this graphic was actually dedicated to Raf's earlier aesthetic in the 90s in terms of graphics uh, and logo design. So yeah, very reminiscent, big, bold print right on the front. And then you also have some fake uh, tape just right here plastered along uh, three corners of the huge graphic on the front. Now, Originally, this piece is actually sized at a size medium, and the RAF mediums are like a 3XL, legit. So, I actually had to get this thing taken into my tailor. Uh, shout out to her, she is a blessing. And she literally maybe eliminated about four inches in length of the piece. That's how long it was. It was too drapey, too dressy for me. And I needed it at the right length for me to be able to wear this comfortably. Essentially, this would be more so for like snowboarding or, you know, much colder climates uh, as Templa focuses on um, like luxury outerwear, like think like Canada Goose, um, Montclair, things like that, right? Look them up. But yeah, this is supposed to be part of like a luxury snow gear pack and I just thought it would be a really cool freaking vest to add to the collection. So there you have it guys. I hope you enjoyed my outerwear pickups. Let me know in the comment section which one of the pieces you guys liked the most, uh, which one you hated the most, whatever it may be. Hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already because your boy's trying to grow. Uh, help me break the algorithm, get a bigger audience, and hopefully, you know, we're just gonna keep it pushing. So I'll see you guys on the next one. And as always, I'm here to help you look good, feel great, and dress well. And I'm out.